What is predictive analytics? In this presentation, I'll give you an overview of predictive analytics, and I'll discuss some of the models used and what the goals of predictive analytics are. So what's the model that we should have in our head about what predictive analytics is? Well, predictive analytics is driven by data. Then we apply some analysis, some analytics techniques, which drives future insights. So we go from data to analytics to future insights. So what are our observations telling us and what actions can we take based on those observations? Now, this is not only about predicting the future so that we can make informed decisions regarding things like risk and opportunity, but we may be using predictive analytics for past events, ones with unknown causes, where we can explain events based on data, using modeling techniques, machine learning, and data mining. We look to discover patterns or explain trends based on data. We apply our techniques based in mathematics and statistics and domain knowledge of the problem we're trying to solve. So let's talk about how we build predictive models. Well, in one model, we're looking for relationships between independent input variables. We're trying to gain insight based on our data points that can be clustered or grouped together. If our data is unlabeled, like in machine learning, we call this unsupervised learning. The output, it's not always a response or dependent variable based on our input, but often a model of how our input variables are grouped based on common traits and data. Now, if we have independent variables or predictor variables, we use historical data to inform our thoughts about the future, to make predictions. Our data is labeled, we come up with a model, often a classification or regression uh, technique, to predict an outcome, which we call our dependent variable or predicted output. Now, what is predictive analytics? Well, the naive view would be it's work we do as a statistician. It's often modeling data and mathematical techniques and tools. Well, you do need to know your statistics well enough and have some mathematical intuition to carry out predictive analytics, but you also need things like data mining, which involves software tools and coding. We also need machine learning, a set of techniques to teach a computer to model based on statistical methods, so the computer learns to carry out database algorithms without being explicitly programmed. And the predictive modeling techniques like classification and regression, decision trees, etc., concepts that all overlap to some degree. So we have these four uh, parts of predictive analytics, but it's not any one of these. It's a combination of all of them, and predictive analytics is a multidisciplinary field. So, Having said that, how do we meet organizational goals with predictive analytics? Well, we're often weighed down by the possible courses of action we can take in an organization. If your predictive techniques are your gut instinct and your shoot from the hip decision maker, well, the outcomes may vary and not keep pace with the needs of your organization, nor keep pace with your competitors, and you may struggle to meet your goals. Some decisions are make or break. Using predictive analytics, it may be the difference between success or failure. With predictive analytics, it's much more educated rather than a gut instinct or a gut feeling. So you're not just guessing. Hence, our outcomes are much more likely to meet our goals. And that concludes this presentation on what is predictive analytics.